Welcome to Chapter and Verse, Volume 3, a chapter-by-chapter -chapter reflection on the New Testament through poetry as a way to strengthen your personal and family gospel study with a focus on the Come, Follow Me curriculum. One chapter, one verse. My name is Michael D. Young, and today we have a text based on Luke 7. The focus verses for this text are Luke 7, 41 through 47. There was a certain creditor which had two debtors. The one owed 500 pence and the other 50. And when they had nothing to pay, he frankly forgave them both. Tell me, therefore, which of them will love him most? Simon answered and said, I suppose that he to whom he forgave most. And he said unto him, Thou hast rightly judged. And he turned to the woman and said unto Simon, Seest thou this woman? I entered into thine house. Thou gavest me no water for my feet. But she hath washed my feet with tears, and wiped them with the hairs of her head. Thou gavest me no kiss. But this woman, since the time I came in, hath not ceased to kiss my feet. My head with oil thou didst not anoint, but this woman hath anointed my feet with ointment. Wherefore I say unto thee, Her sins, which are many, are forgiven, for she loveth much. But to whom little is forgiven, the same loveth little. And now the text. My mighty debt. I marvel at my mighty debt, ten thousand talents strong. I have but paltry mites, and yet I do not sorrow long, for I have labored faithfully to bring this offering here, and know the Saviour willingly will make the rest appear. My neighbor's debts are great as well, to God, perhaps to me, and I may choose on them to dwell, or set them kindly free. For should I not with thankful heart forgive another's debt, while God's forgiveness still imparts, yes, I would not forget. The debt that justice now demands I cannot fill alone, but with the help of mercy's hands, that shall all debts atone. Perfection is no easy feat, but here is grace displayed, not free of flaws, but full, complete, with debts all fully paid. Thank you for listening. If you like what you hear, please share.